At age 97, Charlie Odom still drives. And six days a week, you will find him putting in an hour swim at the Westside Y pool. A man known to former shipmates as the old chief is self-sufficient and independent, fitting descriptions for a Navy man who spent much of his military career deep underwater. Oh, you're miserable for 60 days, and you're under strain for 60 days. You didn't have time to eat. We did have coffee. We, we kept coffee pot going all the time. The Navy runs on coffee. <laughs> we didn't take a bath for 60 days. And uh, we'd take our underwear off the top and put them on the bottom. And it was hot. It was 140, 150 degrees down there. You just sit there and sweat and drink fruit juice. Charlie Odom is a former submariner. Born in landlocked East Tennessee, Odom spent 20 years on missions at sea for one reason. He liked fixing engines. He joined the Navy in 1934 for $21 a month and went right to work on the diesel engines powering submarines of that era. So when you go into the service, you go in in this S-1 class submarine and you see all of these submarines during your time in the service, yeah. all the way down to right there. Yeah. This book recounts one of Odom's most harrowing wartime missions. On November 11th, 1943, three Japanese attack ships targeted his submarine. It meant Chief Odom and his crew had to dodge a barrage of underwater bombs in a deadly game of hide-and-seek that lasted 12 to 15 hours. You didn't want a depth charge underneath you because it'd blow you up to the surface. It'd knock you down when it dropped one. But that was a good position to be in on your knees. <laughs> Every time a depth charge would open up and water would gush down and it'd pour all over me and I was already up here in water. And the depth charges would blow a valve open and we'd have to go down in the, in the dark. The lights get knocked out. You go down in the dark and close valves. The maximum test depth for his submarine was 412 feet, but Odom says they burrowed deeper, near 600 feet. They pulled a hairpin 180-degree turn and escaped their Japanese attackers by retracing their path underneath the trail of oil they knew provided cover on the surface. Chief Odom received a commendation for his actions that day. Chief Odom's courageous actions and loyal devotion to duty reflected great credit upon himself. Just a few years shy of 100, the old chief has outlived many of his friends and family members. I lost a lot of good shipmates. Reflecting on his life, Chief Odom often recalls just how many shipmates he lost at sea. I knew somebody on just about every submarine, 52 of them were sunk, and they, they died a horrible death. It was either imploded or crushed or drowned or ran out of oxygen, and they're still down out there in the Pacific, 52 of them with 80 men in each.